Hello, I am Mikey. So you are all my potential dates for prom. Please introduce yourself. I am Mary. I am Chloe. I am Brittany. I am Samantha. Gosh, you are all gorgeous. I am one lucky guy. I cannot decide, Brittany can you switch with Mary? I think I need some help from Mr. Lopez, my economics teacher, I will call him. Mikey, how's it going? Mr. Lopez, how can opportunity cost help me choose a prom date? First you need to prioritize your preferences. I did that. They are standing in order of my preferences. Brittany is my top choice. Then Brittany should be your prom date, right? But if I go with Brittany, I would have to give up the other three girls. The total cost might exceed the benefit of going with Brittany, right? You can only have one prom date. So if you go with Brittany you are only giving up the opportunity of going with Chloe. So opportunity cost is only the best available opportunity I give up, not all the available opportunities I give up right? Right, Chloe is your opportunity cost of going with Brittany because it is the best available opportunity you have to give up. So, what are the trade-offs? When you sacrifice one thing to obtain another, that is a trade-off. So in this case all four girls are the trade-offs. Okay, so they are all the trade-offs, and if I choose Brittany then Chloe becomes the opportunity cost. Great, I think you understand the concepts now. Thank you, Mr. Lopez. Now Brittany is my official prom date, which makes Chloe my opportunity cost. Opportunity cost is the best available opportunity you need to give up for a given choice. Trade-offs are what we have to sacrifice to obtain what we want.